What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. So we are going to just do a quick rundown of the new Milano Derby Day players. There's four players from Inter, four players from AC. Um, there's there's one or two in here. I would say that you know because of the players' form, I think this is a big problem at the moment with the stand with the special players. Is the form? Is that like I just don't see the reason why you would spin this agent when two of the best rated players are on an E and a D. Um, and the rest of the players are on C because you're taking a big gamble unless a player is on wavering form which a lot of these guys don't then you're taking a gamble that even if you sign a player like this and you get lucky with your 100 coins or your free spin or whatever it is um, you you know what I mean you mightn't even be able to play him in back-to-back -back games so it is just something that I think they will probably look at I think there needs to be a reason for these players uh, to be spun rather than just going into the GP marketplace and buying them for free because everyone has so much GP now if you've been playing the game for a while you have millions and if you haven't uh, and you're only a newcomer these guys you know are very easily kind of like replicated by players on the gp market right so we are going to start with the ac milan players i'm going to go through it fairly quick because once upon a time or once or every now and again you will get duplicates a lot of the time so there was a time when i probably did a deep dive on these players so if you want to go back and check out some of my other previews or reviews um of the players but we are going to do a fairly deep dive we're going to go over to eFootball db as well so we are going to start with Giroud. Obviously, uh, an absolute beast, most beautiful man in football. And this guy's got standard form on C rating, but he does have super sub. So super sub makes it worth uh, spinning, I think, if you are looking for a difference maker. Obviously, you know, you have Haaland, who's a super sub as well. Ah, lovely cup of tea, lads. Um, but Haaland is kind of obviously going to be in a completely different price point if you are looking at the standard versions of the card. I think Giroud is roughly around fifty to 60,000 GP. Whereas Haaland's going to cost about 10 times that. So having a super sub that can come on and win you an aerial ball uh, is very, very important. So, you know, there's a lot of players there that can do the job. But Giroud obviously is Giroud. And the super sub is going to make him a big difference uh, when you bring him on. So this is how we've maxed him out. Um, you're going to want to try and get that shooting and dexterity up as much as possible to get his offensive awareness up. And also get his jump, his physical contact, and his header up. I mean, you've got one job with Giroud, and that is basically to score goals without having to rely on your speed. And that's kind of how we train him up there. You're not going to get that acceleration up more than 75, no matter what you do with this card. So why bother? Just, you know, play him as Giroud needs to be played. I think his standard form does kind of wreck this card a little bit. It's the same with Tamori, his teammate. Um, that standard form, even though we've been maxed out here, this guy's got incredible stats, lads. He's kind of like a hidden gem that a lot of people have been using for a long time. He's kind of like Timber. Him and Timber were kind of battling it out for the, the hidden gem of eFootball 22 way back when. But I think the only thing that lets this guy down is the standard form. And obviously the fact as well is that he's going to be on his live player update. He doesn't always have like a B or A rating compared to Timber. Timber obviously um, does have a lot more chances of being on A or B form. Acceleration 78, speed 78, and then his defensive stats 94, 94, 90, and 92. I'm going to be doing an extremely important video on the defense stats very, very soon. And the skills and the defense stats compared to when you're controlling a player and when you're actually controlling or the AI is controlling your team for you. So I'll do a very good video on that. I've been working on it for quite a while. On our road to 25,000 subs, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we will be doing a massive giveaway and some brand new projects starting soon as well. But Tomori is probably the pick of them, I would say, for the AC Milan pack. Tenali is a good player, but I think there's been a lot of different versions of Tenali. His Italian pack is a lot better. Um, You know, you can see there that the only thing that it's not better in is tackling. Everything else is better, but this guy does have two more levels to go. So that gives you a couple of more different points to play around with. Uh, obviously, if you want to do that, um, he is a fairly decent player. I think the problem with this version of Tenali uh, compared to say his AC Milan one or even his standard one is the fact that you know you've got 35 levels with his standard card and with the AC Milan pack you've got 30 levels with that so you can train him up a lot better aggression wise uh, even though this guy is you know got really good stats um, it's more about passing you're more kind of locked into the type of player that he wants whereas the Italian pack I think that has you know that tackling obviously is a little bit worse but you can you know train him up a little bit better because of the speed and obviously you've got less um 
you've less kind of like factors to take in there. But he's got a brilliant, uh, a brilliant card, man. I'm a bit disappointed, obviously, with the fact that Tenali has also this card here. Tenali's card um, does have the standard form. I think he should have unwavering form. I think all these players probably should have it just because they're, you know, premium cards. Um, we have also got Rafael Liao, who will go to here as well. This guy is a real speed freak, lads. He's an absolute demon. He's got super sub as well. So, I mean, you bring him and Giroud on, like if you spin the two of them, you're genuinely going to have a game-changing combo, you know, for on the wing play and crossing balls in. I don't like the fact that um, Liao doesn't have uh, higher balance because I think, you know, he should have higher balance based on the rest of the players and rest of the stats that are very, very similar to him. But he is a fairly good player, lads, when we max him out. You get 97 acceleration, 92 dribbling, 94 speed, 88 balance. And then that's all you're going to be using him as, you know, with the super sub. We also have a Shalang Lu. If that's how you pronounce his name, lads, let me know. Give me feedback in the comments. I'm always trying to get my pronunciations better. Um, but yeah, this guy is probably the pick of the Inter Milan pack, right? And this might go without saying, but the, the only thing that lets him down is his inconsistent form now obviously that's a big game game changer or a deal breaker for a lot of people but his stats are insane look at his stats man right he's got every player skill that you could possibly want for an amf he's got excellent playing styles that you know make him a really really good player to have he's got early crosser and pinpoint crossing so you can play him out wide you've got every shot um player skill shoot for shooting and passing um, he's got everything man but the only thing is his 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 form is very very poor now when we look at his actual stats they are insane you know 88 acceleration with 89 balance and kicking power 88 offensive awareness ball control is un unreal passing is unreal and he's also able to take free kicks he's very very slow on the ball even though he has got acceleration and speed there because of the just the way he is he's just kind of like a slower base player um He's not as nimble as, you know, the likes of Nakunko or somebody like Odegaard or somebody like that. But he is a very, very good player. Brozovic, obviously, he's on C form as well this week. He's kind of a fairly good defensive midfielder. There's a lot of players that are better than him there. I would say Barrios is probably better. Basuma is probably better. Zakaria is probably better if you're looking for a standard version of the card. He goes 23 levels. His standard goes 28. So they do actually max out the same, pretty much the same. Um... There was another pack of him there, the Inter one, that goes to 31, which was quite decent. And that was a better card all around, like by mile. And then obviously the Croatia pack was fairly decent as well. But the Inter Milan pack was a beastly pack, a beastly card, except for the team play style. Um, but his form was actually a uh, tree. So it's going to obviously come into the come into the four that way a little bit as well. And we've also got Lataro Martinez. Again, he's on a D form, which is a big pity. I won't spend too much time on Martinez, lads, because I've already, you know, done a lot of reviews on him. He featured in our top center forwards for every budget as well. Um, he's an unreal player, lads. He's got unwavering form. The D, the D live update does kill him this week, but he will be on A or B again eventually. Um, and we've maxed him out this way, right? So you get 87 offensive awareness with balance 87 as well. Speed and acceleration, stamina, ball control, dribbling and finishing all in the mid to high 80s very very decent he is kind of like a mini romario so if you don't have romario you're trying to test out somebody that plays like him he definitely is worth it but is he going to be a game changer for you well depending on the strength of your squad i would probably say no you could even you know the italian or the argentinian pack was quite good they also had the inter milan pack which went to 27 levels and had you know a base stat of three plus acceleration that was even better than this card so you had minus three for header but plus three for acceleration, which was ridiculous. Um, but this card isn't bad, except it goes 21 levels. This went to 27. So if you missed out on that Inter Milan pack, you probably missed out on the best version of him. And then last but not least, we have Skriniar. He's on E form, so it is kind of a bit of a pity. Uh, but his stats are ridiculous, man. Look at that, right? As I said, I'm going to be doing a video on the difference between, you know, boosting up the player's stats when you are controlling the defender versus the AI controlling him. So depending on what type of player that you are, but 70 acceleration, 77 speed, really good in the air, nice height, nice weight, handles quite well on the pitch. And those defense stats are absolutely insane. Any player that has got four of the defense stats over 90 is going to be impossible to get past in the hands of a good player. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. That is the Milano Derby Day pack. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We are starting a couple of new projects and series quite soon. So I will talk to you later. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. And let me know what you think of this pack. Peace.